morning, everybody. Did that surprise you that it was a lion instead of me taking assembly today? Um, that's because today's story um, from Aesop is all about this young man, a really strong, ferocious lion, um, the king of the jungle. This is one of our favourite bears here at home. And we particularly love him because he has got round his neck. Can you see? He's got a mysterious key. And in our house, we like to tell stories about why a lion would have a key. And I wonder what door or gate this key would open. So that's something for you to have a think about today. Uh, but today's story stars Mr. Lion with his magnificent mane. And he is known as the king of the jungle because he's known to be the strongest, the fiercest animal in the jungle. But today's story is going to teach us that even for strong, ferocious animals, every animal and every person needs help sometimes. And you don't have to be strong and ferocious to be able to help even people who are stronger than yourself. So Mr. Lion's going to stay here with me whilst we read today's story uh, from our favourite fables book. And it's called The Lion and the rat, or the lion and the mouse. Sometimes it's called the mouse, sometimes it's called the rat. One day, a rat walked by accident, oh dear, into a lion's paws, just like that. And the rat was caught. Oh, Mr. Lion, what are you going to do about that? Let's see. But the lion was feeling kind. And he also, you can tell, had quite a full belly. He'd had quite a lot of breakfast that morning. So he decided, oh, he couldn't really be bothered with eating the mouse or the rat. And he decided to allow him to escape unharmed. Off you go, rat. I have no desire to eat you today. And the rat trotted off. And here's the picture of our lion in our storybook. You stay there, Mr. Lion, still in shot. And here's our lion in our story. And there's the rat just at the lion's feet, probably thinking, that's it, that's game over for me, this lion is going to eat me. But the rat thanked the lion and said, one day, Mr. Lion, I will repay you, you, Mr. Lion, yes, you, for your kindness. Well, Mr. Lion threw back his head and roared with laughter. Ho, 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 you, a small mouse, a small rat helping me, but I'm the king of the jungle. What on earth could you possibly do to pay me back for my kindness today? Now run along and let me get on with my day. Well, Mr. Lion, you never know what's just around the corner. He laughed to himself after the rat had gone. How could such a teeny tiny creature help me, the king of the jungle, the lord of the jungle, he thought. Well, a few months later, and the lion was out hunting in the forest when, and sad to say, he fell into a hunter's trap. Oh, this is sad. Mr. Lion, I think you should cover your eyes because this might be upsetting. This is what happened to the lion in our story. He got caught in a giant net. Can you see him there? <gasps> Looking so scared and so wild. He roared in fury and he struggled with all of his might. Don't be upset, Mr. Lion. It's just a story. It's not going to happen to you. But he couldn't escape. Poor Lion's face. There he is, trapped in a hunter's net. It's not looking good. Not looking good for the lion in this story. He could not escape. Well, all the animals heard the lion and because he was the king of the jungle, they all rushed to find him. And there they are, the fastest ones, the cheetahs and the antelopes and all of the other animals out on the African plains. The zebras all came to see if they could help the lion. The lion asked each one of them in turn for help and they said, oh, but how can weak creatures like us help you, Lord King of the Jungle, Mr. Lion? There's nothing we could possibly do. Oh dear, the lion was in real trouble. There they all are. He asked them all for help. He asked them all for support. And none of them thought that there was anything that they could possibly do. Hmm, I wonder. 
I bet you can guess what happens next. And so they left him and they all went away. They thought they couldn't help and they've all left him. Even the rhino, I mean, the rhino's really strong, but he didn't think he could do anything to help the Lord of the jungle, King of the jungle. Just then, guess what, Mr. Lion? The rat that Mr. Lion had trapped between his paws happened to come walking by. He saw the lion in trouble and he ran at once to help him. How could the mouse or the rat help this great big beast? What could he do? What skills and talents might the rat or the mouse have to help this great and mighty beast out of the predicament he found himself in? Well, he gnawed and he gnawed and he gnawed all through the night and all through the day. And at last he gnawed right through the net. And at last the lion, hooray! was freed and there's our brave and persistent rat gnawing through each one of the threads that was holding the lion captive so you see lion you were wrong when you laughed at the mouse or the rat and you thought he couldn't do anything to help you in fact he was exactly who you needed i bet the lion's going to be very thankful so the little rat, by patience and hard work, was able to do what the lion, with all his strength and all his rage, could not. And that's the end of that story. Now, which one of our stories this week does that link with? Let me just read you that last bit. And so the little rat, by patience and hard work, managed to do what the lion, in all his strength and rage, could not. Hmm. It reminds me of the sun and the wind story that we had yesterday, I think it was, about being gentle. And also it reminds me of the hare and the tortoise, about being persistent and carrying on and working really, really, really hard. And I think that's what my message is to you today, is that we can all help other people. doesn't matter how small we are, and you're all children, you're all small and thus grown-ups. But you can still help other people, whether it's other children or grown-ups too. And you can still do amazing things. So never think that someone is too, <clears throat> too great or too powerful to need any help. We all need help. I need help all the time. And I ask for help from the teachers in school. And your mums and dads sometimes I ask for help from. And from you as well. Um, I come and ask you for help with problems and things like that. We all need to help each other in our family. That's what makes us a family. You've got your home family and you've got your family in school and we all work together to help each other. There's no one of us a lion. I'm not a lion. I still need help. Um, none of us are too great to, uh, to not need any help because we're all human beings and all human beings have faults. All human beings make mistakes and all of us need help sometimes. So don't forget today, put your hand up and ask for help. There's lots of people in your class who will help you if you're struggling. And look out for those brave people, the people like the tortoise and the rat in our story today, who just get on with things and just slowly and steadily help to make the world a better place. So thank you, all you tortoises and all you rats and all you rays of sunshine and all you shoemakers. Um, I think we've learned a lot from Aesop this week, all those lessons to how to live a good life. I hope you've enjoyed our stories. Um, there are lots more actually if we want to come back to this another time. Uh, but for now, have a lovely Thursday. Bye from Mr Lion. Remember his key. If anyone's got any good ideas for why you think this might open because I haven't found it yet, then come and find me and tell me about it. Um, and until tomorrow, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Have a good day.